In the earlier videos, you have looked at the outpatient department workflows of Bumni. In this video, we will cover the inpatient department workflow of Bumni. Let us walk through a real life scenario of Sunil, a 35 year old shopkeeper who has broken his leg in an accident and is rushed to the hospital at 9.30 in the night. Sunil is rushed to the emergency room of JK Hospital. There is no registration clerk at this hour. Dr. Tara Sharma comes in to examine the patient. Since this is Sunil's first visit to the hospital, Dr. Tara Sharma creates a record for Sunil. She quickly enters some information like name, gender, age and village and records this information. She then begins an emergency visit for him. She enters the height and weight of the patient roughly and enters some registration fees and begins the visit. Dr. Tara Sharma then decides to place order for some radiology tests. For this, she moves to the clinical dashboard, selects Sunil from the active patients list, goes to the consultation tab, moves to the orders and now places the order for the radiology test by going to the radiology section. Since Sunil has fractured his leg, she clicks on the body part leg and selects the corresponding radiology orders. So she orders for a leg ankle joint and a leg knee lateral. She then moves to the disposition tab and decides to admit Sunil so that the tests can be taken. She advises Sunil that he requires admission. While Sunil has been uh, wheeled into the inpatient ward, the nurse quickly goes into the inpatient queue and checks the to admit queue and selects on Sunil. She goes to the patient movement tab and selects admit patient. In Bumni, the nurse has access to the patient dashboard on this page. She then clicks on the admit button. Bamni now prompts the user to close the emergency visit and begin the IPD visit for Sunil. The nurse now clicks on the yes button. The next step is to allocate a bed for Sunil. For this, the nurse goes into the general ward section, chooses a bed based upon their preference. She selects a normal bed and clicks on assign bed. We now see that this bed has been assigned to Sunil. The nurse now gets Sunil ready to go and take up the radiology test advised by Dr. Tara Sharma. The lab technician has now taken all the required tests and decides to upload the results of these tests. 
For this, from the dashboard, the technician picks on the Orders tab, selects the patient Sunil, chooses the corresponding order and loads the image from the system. For our example, we will be loading the same image again against the other radiology order also. And then the lab technician clicks on save. By this action, Dr. Tara Sharma now has access to the test results of Sunil on the patient dashboard. Before we proceed to Dr. Tara Sharma's further diagnosis, let us see what are the various ways in which we can upload the radiology orders. If the, if the test has been ordered within the hospital during a visit and the facility is readily available in the hospital, then like we have just done, we can choose the orders module and upload the radiology order for that particular patient against the visit and the test will complete will be shown up in this particular pane. Alternatively, in case if the patient is already carrying some x-ray and other reports along with them and would like to upload, then we can choose the radiology upload button, select the patient and against the corresponding visit, we can click on the add button to upload the image and save it for that particular patient. PAMNI also has a feature of integrating with a dcm 4 j PAX integration machine. In case we have a hospital which has a dcm 4 j uh, machine, then PAMNI has the compatibility to read these messages or these images directly from the system and store them so that the doctor has immediate access to these records. Let us proceed with the treatment for Sunil. Dr. Tara Sharma now goes to the clinical tab, selects our patient Sunil and checks on the radiology report that she had ordered. She advises medication for Sunil. Since it's already been two days, Sunil has been admitted to the hospital. Dr. Tara Sharma believes that his leg is healing well and that he can be discharged. For this, she goes to the consultation tab, goes to disposition and selects the option discharge patient. She keys in information for the nurse to begin the discharge process. We also have an observation template for the discharge summary in Bumni. Dr. Tara Sharma now fills out this discharge summary for Sunil. Dr. Tara Sharma 
Now <clears throat> enters a follow-up date for Sunil. She picks three weeks from now as a healing time and advises that that 21st of April would be an ideal time for Sunil to come back to the hospital for a follow-up visit. <clears throat> Dr. Tara now clicks on the save option. The nurse now can go ahead and discharge Sunil. For this, she moves to the inpatient module selects the tab to discharge, selects the patient Sunil, goes to the patient movement discharge patient and enters the notes of discharge. The nurse can also choose to print out the discharge summary and hand it out to the patient before uh, he gets discharged. Thank you.